Hello everyone. I'm going to show you how you can boil water by using ice water to boil water. I, you hear the microwave going. I have a bottle such as this one in the microwave and I'm heating the water, which is colored to, for better viewing, up to boiling. So I'm heating it for one minute. And when it comes out, I'm going to cap it and I pour cold water over it and we're going to see what happens when I pour cold water over the top of it. And you watch the water here uh, as I do that. So it, um, we have a few more seconds. The water is in the microwave. Okay, it's one minute, so I'm going to stop it. I'm going to cap it quickly. And you can see the water is not doing anything. Just sitting there. But I have some ice water here. Let's see what happens when I pour some ice water over the top of this bottle. Okay, you can see that it's rapidly boiling. See the bubbles? Those bubbles are actually bubbles of water vapor. We'll talk a little more about what's going on. A little more ice water on it. And you can see the ice water is causing the hot water on the bottom to boil. And it's boiling very rapidly. Very, very rapidly. Now what's going on here? I'm getting water on my leg, but <laughs> very rapid boiling of the water. And those bubbles, they're not air bubbles, they're actually bubbles of water vapor. Now what's going on here is when I put the water in the microwave oven for a minute, <coughs> it starts to boil. Uh, the water start, turns to steam, it drives out all the air, and when I cap it, I have water vapor at the top and liquid water at the bottom. Uh, the water vapor, the water at the bottom is about 100 degrees, so water vapor at the top should be at a pressure of about one atmosphere. When I pour the cold water on top of the, top of the bottle, it causes the water vapor to condense, creating a partial vacuum. But the water down here is very hot. So in order to reestablish equilibrium, it boils and sends the vapor into the top part of the uh, container so as to reestablish equilibrium. I don't know whether I can still get it to boil, but if I put a little more cold water on there, it's, it's still boiling. All right. So it creates a partial vacuum by condensing the water vapor at the top, uh, taking it out of equilibrium, and the water boils in order to reestablish equilibrium. The water is a little bit colder now, and if I remove the top, you'll hear the air rush in because there's a partial vacuum. So um, this is a, a nice little demonstration to illustrate how you can boil water by pouring ice water onto a container. Um, it's a rather dangerous demonstration because you are working with hot boiling water and steam, so one has to be very careful. It should only be done by uh, adults with uh, uh, great care. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little demonstration, and I'll see you next time.